Hello everyone, it's Ball Farmer 6710. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a rainy day on the big 132 mile farm diorama display. It is day 69 and it's very, very busy. Harvest is coming to an end and with this means a lot of the autumn jobs are starting to take place like the hedge cutting and a bit of groundworks jobs as well. And basically an end to the harvest, you could say. So, with that said, there's a lot in the today's episode, so stay tuned, should get into it. So starting off here in PJ's farm, harvest is basically done, the combine is put into the shed for the winter time, and the last of the bales are being brought in. So PJ's was after that, putting in the last of the straw bales there, he's bringing the last load to the, um, the horse yard, so there's about... 30, 40 bales in there, so handy all day, and he has that field all cleared, which means it's ready for grubbing. So, as there's a new law in place that you have to have grubbing 20 days after um, the combine has cut the field. So, this is about a month after the combine's cut this field, and um, you have to grub the field. So, the 1200 is out of hibernation and is on the grubber, the cultivator, and he's just. Um, Rubbing this field and then he'll be onto that field thereafter and then the fields uh, around the farm. Uh, the 590 Massey is parked up in the shed and so is the 690 Massey that's parked outside. And um, the 3C is going to be started into soon enough now. Um, PJ ha has a few jobs for it for the winter time so he really wants to get it going. So whether he replaces the 3C sells or buys a new a, a, a new a new machine but we'll have to see moving on down we have an amazon dealer or the amazon stand farmhand and um, they're going down the road here they're going to the plowing championships down the ratanisca county leash and they have all their amazon gear so they have all their their discs here, so they're 3 meter and they're 6 meter, and then they have an Amazon sprayer here as well. So they have the Fent tractors bring them down the road here, um, and they'll be setting up for the plowing soil. Nice to see it, a nice convoy. P7225 is on the dung cart, he's bringing a bit of dung to the tillage fields to be spread, so he's just making a bit of a stockpile, so he is. And then here in Michael and James contracting yard, it's a bit of a rainy day today, so there's not much field work being done. But um, the only tractor that's really out today is the case on the front loader, so he's off to move a bit of dung, so he is. And um, he, the John Deere 7810 is parked up, and the T7 Blue Power is parked up as well, they're all in the shed. They're all after getting a wash down and clean out inside the cab. And also, as you can see, the New Holland silage harvester is packed up. And so is the Big M Crone. Crone Big M. So, um, yeah, a lot happening there. All in the shed, all tucked away. Shed's full. And um, the hay turner is packed up. And uh, the fertilizer spreader, Amazon fertilizer spreader, will be out soon enough as well. So, um, workshop is getting a bit of a tidy up at the moment. James is just tidying her up there. And then the 416 will be ready soon enough for a bit of dung to be spread. As they do a lot of dung spreading with the NC spreader and they're actually thinking about getting a second dung spreader for the 23 season of um oh, a 23 and 24 season. And then the T7 260 Black Power is on the corn drill. And uh, he'll be probably parked up for a while until the land gets a bit better for a bit of reseeding as there's a lot of rain there the past three or four days. And here we have a fellow contractor here in their McCormick MTX 175 and a rather um, rare enough and unique coon hedge cutter. He's going down the road there now um, on to the next job I suppose. And here in the AD plant all the pits are all covered and the dung spreader, the dung trailer and the Red Rock 4000 is all parked up so yeah. 
And as I said, the case is the only tractor out working today. And uh, Michael is out in the case Puma, and he has the big bucket on the front and the the uh, silo shader. Uh, there's no there's no loader to load them over in the farmer's yard, so he has to load himself, which is a bit of a pain as he has to take off the trailer and disconnect all the pipes and everything. But um, look at he's uh, on he's on day he's on a day rate or off by the hour, so we'll be tipping away at that for the day. And here we have a New Holland 8070 making its way through the town and it's going to come on to the main road here. He's after cutting the last of his um, oats, his spring oats. So um, he'll be uh, making his way back to the yard and the combine will be blown down and ready to be put back into hibernation. So uh, he's coming back there after doing the last of the oats. And all the cars are all parked up in the town. There's a good few people in the in the pub and also a few people saying a few prayers as well on a rainy day. So here we have New Holland T6080 on um, a coon, coon grubber. He's off to do a bit of discing as well after the 28 day ban with the grubbing after the combine. And he's um, he's flying down the road there now. Though. That's a lovely tractor. I like the 6080 now, especially the low bonnet ones. They're a real nice tractor. And here we have Ford 6610 on its way back from doing a bit of raking there. He had about five acres down last night, and it's after really raining down. So he went to the field and realised it's far, far too wet. So he's after coming back there now, and I think he may light the, light the fire or something. All the cows are happy out, they're all grazing away on the pasture. They'll be probably moved down the other fields there in a few weeks, or a few days, shall I say. Um, everything else is all busy out busy out in the yard. Um, the Jaguar is parked up. Until May's time, it'll be brought back out again, so come October, November time, the maize will be back, back, back going. And then the plough won't be long till it's out as well. And they have a pretty big um, contracting job coming up here now with the plant side of things. So the case is on the dually dump trailer, and then you'll see later on the um, the Sammy is on the dually other dually dump trailer as well. So they'll be heading off there. They're heading off there now, actually. As you can see, we'll get to that later on. But um, Ford A210 on the Cambridge rollers. He's doing a bit of rolling, so he is rolling in a bit of grass seed, and um, he'd be flat out rolling come the autumn drilling. So that's lovely, nice tractor now. That A210 on the Cambridge roller. And the Fent Favorite 926. Adrian is here hedge cutting away. He's on the Shelburne Reynolds. He's loving the hedge cutter at the moment. It's absolute aid and true stuff. Um, you now the it's only one year's growth, so it's not really it's not really uh, heavy, but it's able to fly along the hedges anyway. And um, he likes to fend for hedge cutting as it's pretty high tractor. Well, it's a uh, pretty good visibility, so uh, he's happy away at that. And he he can actually see the boys down below here moving the digger. Um, his friend there that they do the bit of the higher work or the plant higher work with. He has a 6930 there and the Komatsu. Uh, that's Adrian's Komatsu there and he's just shifting the digger for him as Adrian doesn't have enough tractors today. So he said he'd bring along the 6930 move it to the next site for Monday morning there. So they'll be flat out moving soil. They have, move, they have to move a lot of soil there to clear our site for a lot of houses going up. So there'll be a few more dump trailers on the go. They might even hire in James and Michael's double axle cane, so um, that will be a bit of a help, all right. That's, that's quite a big trailer. Uh, Sammy Galaxy is on the yellow dually, as I was saying. So all the case and Sammy will be flat out for a few weeks, and so will the Kamatsu. Right, the combine is packed up, same as last episode, packed up, so 
We didn't really have any oats this year. And as you can see here, we have a good, a good friend of uh, Adrian's, and uh, he's in his Ford 6410 AP cab. Very nice to see an AP cab, so it is. Don't see many of them about at all. And um, that's on uh, Adrian's Brahan bale trailer. It's able to pull away the no butter. Uh, 6410 actually has a turbo, so it's actually quite has a nice sound out of it, and it's able to pull like a train. So. Um, Mapro is there offloading the bales and he's going to keep all the straw bales in this shed here for the winter time as um, uh, basically there's no there's no shed space over at the at the base at the home farm so I may keep all the straw here but at least he has a shed to keep the straw could be a lot worse um, but yeah I do like the 6410 on the Brahman bale trailer very nice setup I think and the Mapro offloading So that's about it guys for this side of the farm and in general the whole farm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. As always let me know which was your favourite scene down in the comments below. My favourite scene was probably um, the Komatsu on the back of the 6930. I think that was a nice setup. And I also really like the 6410 and the map row as well i really like that one though so let me know guys in the comments below what's your favorite scene and a bit of an update i will hopefully have a vlog for the plowing so i'm going wednesday and thursday so if you see me guys or me and daniel please uh, don't be don't be afraid to say hello we don't bite so um we'll be hopefully doing a vlog and if you do come up to us you can be in our vlog so you might see yourself on the big screen hopefully <laughs> But um, yeah, we're going Wednesday and Thursday, and um, we shall see you again soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.